I'm one of two siblings. I am one of four siblings. I am one of four siblings. I am five zero seven five one one. I am an only child. I am five one zero four seven three. I am one of three siblings. I am five ten twenty nine seven. I'm five one three five zero. Five one zero three two two. We are DP. We are DP. We are DP. Uh huh. Yeah, we are DP. 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 Uh huh. Yeah, we are DP. Uh huh. Are you up to the challenge? On my paycheck, hundred bucks. Hey, do you have a work permit? No. Too bad. No. <laughs> You're working illegally if you do not have a work permit. Yeah. Hey, do you have your work permit? Yeah, right here. Alright. Hey, yo, kid, you can't have a phone at school or an iPod. What's he thinking? Uh, why not? According to DP, it's the new rule. See, no cell phones, no iPods at school. Oh, oh, it's the principal. Well, <laughs> I guess he can have a cell phone at school. That's right. The rules apply to students. First offense is a warning. Second time, Saturday school. Don't have your cell phones or iPods at school. <laughs> hey, did you know that we should keep our memories alive by purchasing a yearbook? Of course. They're only $67. That's it? Yeah, they are. And do you know that if you buy a charger card, the yearbook is free? Whoa, that's such a good deal. I know. So, you could also keep your students feeling special by having a parental pride page. They're formerly known as baby bait pages. Yeah. They also could customize your book by putting your name on it. No way! Let's yeah. see that. You can have up to four symbols. That's so cool. Yeah, each one can be specialized for activities that your student does. So then they wouldn't get mixed up with other students when they sign the yearbooks, and they're personal for the rest of their lives. So uh, maybe you guys should check that out. See you later. When turning into the parking lot, the theater logs. Make sure you drive up the first row in the parking lot and turn around to drop off your children next to the tennis courts. Another drop off point for students is along Alameda. You can also turn right into the faculty parking lot, behind the old theater. Continue all the way around the loop before letting the students out. Do not turn left when leaving the faculty parking lot. Dos Pueblos. 
Right now, we're in the process of changing studios, and we're going to need your help. This is our new studio. As you can see, it needs a little bit of help. But with your time and donations, we can bring the best news possible to your students. Stay tuned on Channel 21 or online at dphs.org to watch the news. And our premiere is going to be September 29th. We'll see you then.